Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xena520 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we started our assault on Dark Hyrule Castle and I got confused by something. And in this episode, we're going to continue our path towards Vati and rescuing Princess Zelda. There is a lot to do in this castle. This floor of the castle in particular is really big. Ow. Just do one of these then. Oh, I could jump up here if I felt like it. Oh, I kind of have to. Get that. Get that. Open the door. And then jump down through the shutter. See you later. All right. In here, that door's also locked. That's a lot of sparks. I should probably grab some more fairies. There we go. And I'll get the last one. There we go. Just in case. in here, and now there is a Black Knight. Black Knight is very much like the Red Knight. Except he's a little harder to hit. Just gotta make sure to hit him on the side. Avoid that attack. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. And now we have our blue portal. But destroying the Black Knight, spawns a Red Knight there. Two Silver Knights there. Two Silver Knights there. And a Red Knight there. Now if we come up here, we can see that there are four keys blocking off a large chest. Guess where our keys are? Behind each of the big doors. Come on. There we go. Now these big doors will open and allow us access to each of these outside rooms. I'm pretty sure if you take too long, those torches go out. So don't take too long. Whoa, guineas! I think I destroyed the right one. They all died. <laughs> Alright, so up here is going to be the first of our small keys. And now I'm on fire. Let me just switch back to my shield. Now I can come down here. And completely bypass this area because I'm going around it, not under it. And 
down this bottom here. We now have to fight a red knight. Come on. Gotcha. Get pretty good at the fighting those guys if you know what you're doing. Alright, so we need... One, two, three, four. There we go. I mean, I recognize some of these, uh, whoops, some of these shapes. Like the plus. Get out of here, you stupid. Alright. Now, I think the key here is this stupid thing right there. Oh. What was the purpose of this room? Is there a purpose to this room? I don't know if there's a purpose to this room. Unless this is where the key falls. Nope, there is literally no purpose to that room. It may be where you fall if you get hit by one of the fire wizards. I think that might be the purpose of that room. Anyway. Carrying on, we now have two of our keys. Here, I gotta fight another these two of these guys. The two are the worst. Come on. Seashell. Ouch. Can I have that, please? Get out of here. Oh, kinstone piece. How kind. <laughs> so, now we have... The return of Puzzle Floor. Luckily... Wait, what? Is it because I stepped on a red tile? By accident? Must have been because I stepped on a red tile by accident. Oop, Arginis. Let go! Let go! I want this one. Because I noticed all the other ones started glitching when I hit them. They all glitched, except the one which flinched when I hit it. Give me that. Okay. We can go down or we can go up. What's down? Down is pots. Okay, it's an item restock. Nice. Okay, and up here should be our key. Key. Alrighty. Is there anything up here? Nope. Don't feel like jumping off into the void. Which is a little confusing because why is there a void? We just have the one left. This one. Come on. There we 
we go. I'm taken care of. We got red dudes. And we got wall masters. There we go. And a kinstone piece. Why not? Whoops. Ow. Oh no. Ah! What? Rude. Gotcha. What's with all the kinstone pieces all of a sudden? Okay. So, anyway. Get all the eye switches. Open the door. This way and down into a Gibdo room. Get out of here. Ooh, a ruby. Back off. I'm gonna go up here real quick to see if we can get our key. Indeed, we can. But what's out this door? What is out here? Hearts. I see a cloud. Why would you do that? <laughs> Alright. Uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let me out! Let's not get burned. arrows in here. Alright, so... Utilize these guys again. Ow! There we go. Come through here. Click, 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 click. All the pots. Or all the blocks are gone. Now, we can do this, and push this block out of the way, and get the big key. And now that we have the big key, we can make our way back to that center room. Should have gone the other way. Get away faster. <laughs> or I could put probably could have just taken the blue portal. And then the red portal. <laughs> you are persistent, aren't you? <laughs> so you've come to stop my little ceremony. Well, you're too late. A mere three more chimes of the bell will bring the ceremony to its end. And with the third toll of the bell, I will become like a god. And your precious Princess Zelda will be nothing more than cold, dead stone. There's no time. Quickly, Link, to the roof! Oop. Okay, this guy is being a pain in my foot. Get out of here. Did you hear that, Link? Hurry! There are only two chimes left! Yes. So, the first two chimes are, in fact, scripted. The third chime, however, will only sound if you are too slow and gives you a non-standard game over. Another bell is tolled! Just one more chime and all our work will be up for naught! And now we get to fight these friendly chaps. Alright, I need to deal with these guys one at a time. Come on. Come on. 
circle around them. Swing when you can. There we go. It's literally this fight that determines how whether or not you succeed or fail. Okay, there's one. Okay, come on. Okay, there's two. Now I just have to deal with the black guy. I could have phrased that better. <clears throat> the black knight. Come on. Come on. Come on. There. Hmm. Just a few more moments and the ceremony would have been complete. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? Ah, very well. I have not yet drained all of the light force housed in Princess Zelda. But what I have should suffice. I shall be transformed. Unstoppable. But let me first attend to the pesky worms who would trifle with me. Hmph. <laughs> I will have no more of you interfering with my plans. Let me show you true power! So, uh -huh. So, to defeat Vati Transformed, we have to first get rid of his little eyeballs. And by doing so... Get for that. Get out of here. Go away. Shoot. We paralyze him. And we can shoot him in the eye. Well, we would be able to shoot him in the eye if we didn't get stuck there. There we go. You can know you're doing enough damage to him if... He starts throwing out more eyeballs. Avoid the fires. There we go. There we go. Eventually he'll start throwing out four of them. Or should I be using the four sword? Let's see. Yeah, I should be using the four sword. <laughs> Now he's got four eyeballs. Oh, laser. And eventually, his eyeballs are going to start having shields on them. He's doing like a Patra thing almost. Get that out of here. No way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on I'm at low health. Come here. Okay, so now his eyeballs have these things on them, and you have to suck that off of those eyeballs in order to do damage to it. Ow. Now I'm on fire again. Stop setting me on fire. No! There we go. How about thee? That's also an important thing you can do, is, like, just when he's spawning the eyes. Oh, I died. Well, I've got, I've got fairies! I should have gotten some 
potion. There we go. <laughs> well, you seem to have some fight in you. I commend your bravery. But you will not survive this! <laughs> I am filled with a power you cannot begin to understand. Do you think that puny sword will save you from me? Alright, so we now have this new form of Vati, which is similar to his original. So, what we have to do here is shoot those shapes, and we have to uncover the eyeballs. They'll always be all on one side. So, his eyeballs are all going to be on the, the south side of him. So, we just need to do this, and then utilize our four sword. To knock that away. Use our bow to figure out where the eyes are again. Looks like they're going to be on the right side of him. He's going to keep spawning these stupid little spike ball things. Which is obnoxious. They can actually cover up the... These things. Come here. There we go. Alright. And he's getting weak. I can tell. Because he's doing both the rocks and the spikes. And he's moving around real fast. Come on. Stop moving so much. I can't hit you. I can't hit you when you're doing that. There we go. Like that. Oop. Avoid getting hit by those rocks. Oh, and that little spike. Get over here, Vadi. Oh, bruh. Dude. Come here. There we go. Got you. Alright, how much longer do you want to go on for here, Chief? on the front. This music is pretty epic, too. Is there any way for me to get some of my health back? Get some ammo back. Can I get some health? Body? Please? Also, could I get that last eyeball appeared? There we go. Oop. Watch out for this. Come on. Go north. Go up. Gotcha. What? What is this madness? I have the power of a god. I have unstoppable might. How could I lose to a child? You did it! Impressive! Now, quickly, we must break the curse on Zelda! So, Link, now that you have the power of the Four Sword, you must return Princess Zelda to normal! Link, thank you so much for your saving me. When I was turned to stone, I saw visions of you as if in a dream. It looks like the curse has been broken. I'm glad we made it in time. No! The castle's collapsing! It's too dangerous here! Quickly! We must escape from the castle! Hmm. 
Hmm. The door is blocked. We have no choice. Head back to the sanctuary. Yes, we must get quickly to get to the sanctuary so we can be safe from the collapsing castle. I think all the doors are blocked off. I can still get in here. So maybe I can heal up. Yeah, there we go. Heal up and get some extra goodies. Do these pots recharge? Yes, they do. Okay. That should be good. <laughs> you will not escape, boy. Now you will see the true power of the Light Force. For I have become Vati, the master of this world. Alright, so. Vati. Transfigured, I believe is the name of this form. <laughs> the way we have to deal with this guy is we have to avoid his lightning strikes, but when he puts his hand in the ground, we can use the cane of Pachi to pull it up and out. And then we can go inside as Minish and destroy one of these creatures. That one. The one with the... the one that watches us. Get out of here. That destroys that arm. And spawns for us a heart. Watch out for that electricity. And he reaches in for us again. Use the cane to flip his arm out. And then we need to go inside. Now this one is completely dark, so we need to use the flame lantern to see who our target is. And yet that is that one right there. Gotcha. And now that we've destroyed all his arms... He grows six wings and now has those eyeballs in the front. So, we just need to grab our clones here. And smack all those back at him. There we go. Grab our clones again. Avoid that. All right. Sure, how to dodge all those lightning balls. Come on. Oh, what? That's not supposed to happen. There we go. There we go. Get him! Come on, Vati. Is that all you got? Throw some more lightning. Come on. Why did that one go off to the right left? It's not an exact science. Who knew? Oop, that one hit me. Come on. On the clones. Oop. Good job, genius. 
All right. We're at the timer. Huh. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what is happening there. That is causing that malfunction. <laughs> Come on, throw your lightning balls. There we go. Fool! I... But the light force! My power! I had such power! Link, thank goodness you're safe. You defeated Vati. You were so brave. But we've lost so much. The castle. All those people. What's this? The curse. Defeating Vati seems to have broken the curse he cast upon me. Allow me to introduce myself to you, Princess Zelda. My name is Ezlo, Master of Minish Lore and Sorcery. The Mage's Cap was my creation, but its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for your kind. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen, and much of the castle has been destroyed, but it is too soon to give in to despair. The curse on me is broken, and Zelda still possesses some of the Light Force. Perhaps, together, we can do something to make things right. If one with a just heart wears this cap, things can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wishes be made real. Look, the castle! All the people who had been turned to stone! They're all back to normal! Hmm, hmm. The hat is falling apart. It's overflowing with the power of life. The hat has the power to turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. Vati's heart was filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hat's power, has created a miracle. Hmm. It looks like the time for us to part has come. The Minish door opens but once every century, and soon it must close. I must leave you both now and return to my homeland. I know I've caused you much suffering, but the Evil One's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored the light to Hyrule. Well, Link, my journey with you has been exciting, to say the least. In fact, I'm more than just a little sad we must part ways now. Please, accept this. Heh. <laughs> you know, I've never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. It suits you, little hero. Take care. Fair 
farewell, my friend. And that is The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Well, for the most part. We still have post-game shenanigans to deal with. But this game originally built itself as a story of how Link got his trademark cap. Now this obviously was later retconned by Skyward Sword having the people of, what was it called, Skyloft, also wore hats like this. It's a shame that the Minish never really came back after this, though it is said that in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, the hope of the people which fed the Minish had diminished significantly to the point where you could no longer find rupees and items under pots and rocks anymore. Which explains why those things are so rare to locate. Because that was also the thing. How do the hearts and bombs and arrows and rupees get underneath all these odd objects like stones and grass and pots? The Minish put them there to make people happy. That was the idea. But, uh... Yeah. This game did showcase a lot of, like, weird lore things. Now, the Kinstone system... It, uh, the Kinstone system was a little... Uh, it was alright. It was flawed. Really badly. I get the idea. It was to, like, ex um, try and get you to interact with the other characters a little bit more. Because in, like, say, Ocarina of Time, there's so many NPCs that you do not have to actually interact with. But if you have um, this system where you need to go around and fuse kinstones with people, you're more inclined to go hunting down all these random NPCs. Just in case one of them has one of your fusions that you need to do. Yeah, the giant choo-choo. This was also a game that was produced under Iwata, so kudos to him. Oh, a new stained glass window. Very nice. Thus did Link's quest come to an end. But surely this is not the end of Zelda and Link's adventures in Hyrule. The legend will continue. As long as the power of the Light Force echoes throughout the ages. But now that we've gone almost... Oh, yes, I want to save. Now that we've gone almost ten minutes over time, we are thrust back into the title screen. And we can now see that we have completed the game through that little uh, Triforce symbol. So I'm going to hop back in here. And we find ourselves right here... Back where we started at the Elemental Sanctuary entrance. So I'm going to quickly make my way out of here to the entrance. Everything we've done in the castle has already been saved. In fact, if I come back to the entrance, the portals are here. But next time in The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap, we're going to see to the, um... Let me spit in your ear for a little bit. We're going to see to the post-game and find out what new things have unlocked for us. I have 800 shells. Till then, this is Anna520, signing out. <laughs>